Okay, so I finally VGA modded my Dreamcast after um, a lot of procrastination. I got the guide on mmmonkey.co.uk and it was actually really helpful in terms of uh, where to place everything. And uh, I made some slight adjustments because of the parts I had, they were slightly different. But uh, yeah, this is the finished product and I thought I'd just kind of show it to you and go over it a bit and eventually, um, towards the end of the video, open it up and show you kind of what's going on inside. But uh, obviously here, we have the audio, it's a 3.5mm jack. Uh, you can use, of course, uh, the white and the red analog audio, but that actually takes up a lot more space and you'll probably have to mount it on the side here, which is kind of ugly. When you go ahead, turn the Dreamcast around, and it's facing this way. Or like, as it is right now, it looks kind of clean, I enjoy it this way. I think it looks a lot neater anyway. You turn this back around. And uh, of course here we have the 15 pin VGA female port and it's got, the, I found around like between some of the electronics I have these little screw holes here which didn't come with the mount so now you can actually screw the VGA cable in there which is nice. And obviously here we have the switch for on and off to enable the VGA mode. Uh, now this switch actually frustrates me a bit because if you look here, I'm going to try to focus this and bring it up closer. Alright, if you look here, it's actually not as neat as I hoped it'd be, and when you flip it up, it's not completely flush to the edge. There's a gap right there, and the same thing is true when it's down. There's a bit of a gap right there. It's a little frustrating, but it's something I'm kind of willing to deal with. And over here, to show you, the hole I drilled initially for the 3.5mm jack was uh, just too wide, so this would kind of poke through and to go all the way into the back of Dreamcast when I try to screw it in here but now I found a little washer and this is the only washer that will work unfortunately it has some holes in it, it looks kinda silly but it has this little part here bent as you can see and I was hoping I'd make a kind of hole for it on top here so I could mount the washer the other way around and keep it in place if you know what I mean there now uh, just a little bit about you know using VGA mode on a Dreamcast is that it was designed to support VGA which is pretty cool because if you go ahead and try to VGA mod a PlayStation 2 you'll actually have to get some custom firmware I believe you can do it when you have a soft mod a PS2 like I do uh, but I do know you definitely can do it with a mod chip unfortunately when you do have VGA enabled and if you have uh, good enough quality through VGA the edges on the uh, models are quite jagged. And that's that's a little unfortunate. You could turn your sharpness down on your television to kind of rectify that, but either way, uh, it's much, much better over anything like S-Video or Composite. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll hook it up and show you it in action. And then after that, the boring bit, I'll open it up and show you just a little bit of what's going on in there. So I figure that if you're watching this, you probably know how to hook this thing up and all, but uh, just in case you don't, I'm just going to go ahead and hook it up in front of the camera. Alright, uh, this part is probably pretty clear. Let me move this back a bit. Plug in the power! And uh, just use a kind of standard VGA cable here and plug it in here. And I'm just going to screw this in tight. And of course, the switch will be up uh, to make sure VGA mode is enabled. And lastly, kind of standard headphone jack that's uh, going to my stereo to play audio. Plug that in there, and that's actually it. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, focus the camera and kind of adjust the lighting so that you can see it playing on the monitor because it is unfortunate, but I don't have anything that'll capture through VGA. Um, which I plan to change someday, but not right now. So I'll just show it playing through the monitor for now. Okay, I did want to talk over Crazy Taxi's uh, awesome soundtrack just for a second. Uh, I know right now the image looks quite even and quite square, and that's because I cropped it and sort of also adjusted the color balance to make it look a little more like it does when I actually play it as opposed to record it with my webcam, which is what I've done with this. Another thing you'll notice is the frame rate. Uh, my webcam records at 15 frames per second. Uh, standard NTSC video games play at uh, something like uh, 
29.97. So you will notice the frame rate is a lot lower and that's not actually how it is while you're playing the game. So yeah, just wanted to say that and now I'll shut up. Okay, so I really wanted to like place the camera overhead so uh, to give you a better idea but I, I can't really find a good mounting point and uh, my hands are quite unsteady so uh, just bear with me while I go over this here so um first back here I have the three and a half millimeter audio jack um, it has a ground left channel and right channel wire running under the power supply here to the motherboard I'm not going to open this up down to the motherboard because it's a pain in the butt. And here I have obviously the female VGA port and behind these blue wires is the switch. I hot glued this so there's actually no, nothing really touching. I hot glued everything to hell. And um, basically from the female uh, VGA port runs six wires. You have uh, ground, you have red, green, blue, horizontal sync, and vertical sync. And those run to the circuit over here if the camera won't really autofocus and on one side of the circuit you have those wires on the other side of the circuit if you can see over there sorry for that pretty much crap image quality on the other side of the circuit you have wires running down to the motherboard and I believe you have about seven of those you have the same wires that are connected to the female VGA port and you also have a 5 volt and uh, we have the VGA switch here the enabler Wow, the enabler sounds kind of stupid. We have the uh, enable VGA switch right here. And that just has a RGB select, VGA select, and ground wire running down, again, to the bottom of the motherboard. And uh, just a note here, the uh, mmmonkey.co.uk guide actually has the circuit sitting right here, uh, which is actually a much better spot. But the capacitors I bought um, from Radio Shack, or as somebody calls them, Radio Scam. Uh, yeah, they're quite large and they actually are too high. So when I go to put the top of the Dreamcast down, it doesn't actually close, which is unfortunate. I also tried mounting it here, but I, I ran into the same problem. So what I did is I initially had shorter wires from the VGA port, or from the female VGA, going to the circuit. And what I did is extend those wires and extend the circuit to here and there's a there's a bit of a worry about it shorting but i can show you here i got uh, a crap ton of electrical tape but the uh, hot glue here as you can see there's a lot on the bottom of the circuit acts as sort of a bit of like foot pads so there's really no contact um so yeah and this kind of tape just kind of holds that in place and you know as long as I don't smack my Dreamcast across my room um, I don't think there'll be any problems with that yeah and uh, that's actually really all that's going on under there uh, when it comes down to it it's a simple mod it's just uh, for me it's pretty tedious uh, stripping the 30 gauge wire which is a pain in the butt uh, soldering like 50 points um, all in all though it's not hard to do it's just uh, like a little time consuming and sometimes a little frustrating. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here and thanks for watching.